and welcome to Community Link. Uh, this is Community Missions' opportunity to talk a little bit uh, about what it is that Community Missions does, how we serve the community, and how you, the community, might be able to help us in doing just that. Uh, my name is Christian Hoffman. I have a little bit different uh, get up on <laughs> than what you will normally see. That means we've got a little bit different show than what you would normally see here. We'll get into that in just a minute, but I'm here with uh, Chef John here from our community uh, kitchen. <laughs> and uh, we'll be doing a little cooking segment, as you'll see here in just a couple of minutes. But I wanted to uh, catch you up on a few different things that we talk about kind of from month to month, let you know how things are going. The first uh, thing is that I know many of you out there like to bring donations to us, and we are so thankful for that, whether that be food donations for our community kitchen that we'll be talking about here, or our food pantry, or donations like household items or furniture that we're giving away to people uh, out in the community. And now, when you're doing that, you'll be able to do it on a brand new sparkling parking lot. Uh, we bought that building in 1972, the old Hiawatha Inn and then the Ivanhoe Inn right next to it. Some of you out there may remember uh, those motor lodges from days gone by. And from 1972 up until last year, we had never fully addressed uh, the parking lot. Uh, we had, you know, done some patches here and there, but this time we went down about 12 or 14 inches digging down, leveled everything off off, uh, de dealt with some drainage issues along the way, and now we have a sparkling new blacktop parking lot uh, all around all four sides of the building. So we'll make things a little bit easier, a little bit nicer for those coming to receive services, either in our pantry or our kitchen or our clothes closet, or if you're dropping off some things as well. We would sure encourage you to do that again um, here in the near future, just so you can kind of see what that looks like for us. We also use our parking lot um, to help deliver services in a few different ways. Uh, we have our food pantry that people can drive up to, uh, our mobile food pantry to do that. We have a closet giveaway day that we'll be talking about here momentarily, and then some other events all throughout the year that we utilize that parking lot for. So we're very excited about that. We'll also be adding a new sign out front so that as you're driving down Buffalo Avenue, It'll be an LED sign so we can uh, be better communicating with the community about different events that we have coming up or things that we might be in need of that you might be able to provide us. Uh, we also wanted to mention the Letter Carriers Food Drive that we just had last weekend. We know that many of you out there probably participated in that by leaving some food donations out for your letter carriers or volunteers uh, to distribute or to pick up to distribute to pantries like ours. We had a great turnout. Once again, we were able to bring home about six pallets worth of food um, that really, really restores our shelves quite a bit uh, in the food pantry. That time between uh, the Christmas time when everybody's thinking of giving yeah. back, right? Mm -hmm. um, that is a great time. And then the food, uh, the food drive that the letter carriers do in the second weekend of May, uh, that is a huge thing that we look forward to. In between, there is a, a lot of sparse times <laughs> as far as donations go in our food pantry. Um, so we're so thankful that you uh, may have volunteered or donated to that in some way. And then also wanted to mention the giveaway days that I just mentioned. So our clothes closet, we have a lot of stuff that we collect and certainly we give out what we can. Um, our clothes closet is open now Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 11 to 1. Uh, and we were asking people to make appointments. You don't need to make appointments anymore. Just come anytime during those times. But we still have more than what people can take away even during those times. So we have planned a couple of different giveaway days on site um, there at the mission in the field right next door to us. Those are going to be coming up on Wednesday, June 7th, and then Thursday, June 8th. John here and his crew will be uh, grilling out there, so we'll be doing hot dogs one day, maybe hamburgers. We'll kind of see uh, what that looks like, but we'll be just taking a lot of different items that we have. Everything will be given away for free, so come on out, take away whatever it is that you might want that you see that you need, whether that be clothes or household items, furnishings, etc. Bring some bags as well, probably not a bad idea in case you see some good stuff that you'd want to bring. So again, plan to come on out to June, uh, on June 7th and June 8th, Wednesday, Thursday, here at the mission between 11 and 2 o'clock. And you'll walk away with a bunch of good stuff, as well as a full belly from, oh, yeah. from John here. We also have a golf tournament coming up, an annual thing that's uh, that always takes place in Niagara Frontier Golf Course up in Youngstown. That's going to be on Monday, July 31st. Uh, registration is $175 a golfer or $700 a force 
versa. Uh, go to our website, communitymissions.org, for more information on that. We would love to have you. Or if you're a business owner of any sort, or just have uh, another way that you might, uh, another thing that you want to sponsor, we we'll always have sponsorship opportunities available as well. So that's the rundown to start us out. Now we get to get into the fun stuff. Again, I don't think I, I've been doing this for many years. I've never worn an apron before, so Chef John brought one for me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. I don't want you to, you know, suit and tie to get dirty. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. So Chef John Bornhoft is with us. Uh, how long have you been with the mission, John? Uh, I've been with the mission a little over a year and a half now. All right, year and a half, but many years in the kitchen before yeah, I've that, been, right? Yeah, I've been a chef for about 30 years now. All right. And take. And one of your favorite uh, things, at least that we've enjoyed of yours, is a bread pudding that you're going to show us yes, about Yes, we're going to do a bread pudding today. Very, very simple dish, a very, a great dessert for if you have a guest up to 12 people, it would be fantastic. It's a little condensed, it's a little heavy, but it tastes fantastic. All right. So, so we did this uh, for our fall fiesta, which I believe I mentioned um, mm -hmm. a few months ago, and it was a hit. It was the first time that I had had it, and we had a couple hundred people that were there that day, and everybody had rave reviews for it. So we wanted to um, do something different today while we talk about the community kitchen, uh, give you a new recipe maybe out there. So we'll be um, making that while we talk about what the community kitchen actually does. Right, so, so what should I be doing here? All right, so let's start off with our ingredients. We have a loaf of white bread. You can use any kind of bread that you like. Uh, I would recommend white bread or just plain wheat bread. A uh, honey wheat bread is really, really nice. It'll bring out some flavor in the dish. Uh, I got also, we have a finished product that we got here, but we used, I used cinnamon raisin bread and cinnamon bread. But for this dish, to prep you for whatever you want to do at home, I'm just going to use a plain white bread. We have a quart of milk. I have two cups of sugar, uh, one ounce of vanilla, and I also have one ounce of cinnamon. And in this bowl here, which we pre-did already for you, we have a dozen eggs. So if Christian would like to start whipping up those eggs, all right, all right, and then when he whips up the eggs, I'll add the cinnamon and vanilla. This way it holds up a little better. This way, because the milk is gonna make it a little loose. And in this container here, we have homemade Carmel sauce that we're gonna drizzle on top of this uh, bread pudding. So while Christian is doing that, I'm gonna crack open this loaf of bread and start cutting. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can either layer it, uh, but I'm gonna, I like to di dice it in chunks. Uh, you can put the, uh, the, uh, the crust on there, it doesn't matter. If you wanna take it off, that's up to you. So is there any questions you would like to ask me about the Mission Kitchen? Well, yeah, so you said about a year and a half you've been there. Um, let's just start with the basics. What is the Community Kitchen? How does it work? Community Kitchen is uh, basically what you would call a soup kitchen. We feed the community for lunch. We also feed the residents for breakfast and the residents for dinner. And that roughly is about anywhere between 15 to 25. You know, now that it's winter time, a lot, a summertime, a lot of them like to go out. In the winter time, we do a little bit more. And for lunch, for the community, we're doing anywhere because we reopened our dining room during the COVID, you know, for the last couple of years, you know, we were, safety was a major, major issue. So we only fed the community out through one of our doors and we were doing a good amount there. But now that the community mission is open again and we're serving in-house, we're doing about 60 meals a day. Very good. Yeah, for I've been here for about 10 years or so. I mean, certainly the first seven or eight or so, yeah, we would expect 60, 80, 100 people coming down into the kitchen every day, Monday through Friday at least, and sometimes on Saturday, depending on kind of the situation. Obviously, COVID threw <laughs> quite a wrench in everything, uh, that being one of them. So, yeah, um, going from the to-go meals out the front door back into welcoming everybody back, we're excited by it. We can certainly kind of wrap our arms around people a little bit differently, offer some different services to people that they weren't able to do um, before. But, yeah, that looks a little different now. So the numbers are down, but I got a feeling, as you said, Maybe. As the weather starts to catch up with us a little bit, we're probably going to see a busier summer. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we give, uh, we, don't, we just don't give out a meal there. 
You know, they can get a hot meal to take with them, and they can also take extra meals with them. But we also have a bread rack that we, they mm -hmm. can take bread, and as they're waiting for the, the pantry to open up, they can come in and have a meal, then go to the pantry and get their uh, what they need for the week for their family. So it works out really, really nice. Yeah, so we're able to get a lot of uh, food donations from the community, certainly, you know, that people are out there watching, but then we go and do our pickups at Tops and Wegmans and DiCamillo Bakery and Sam's, and Sam's Club, Club and such. Yep, so we're able to offer, you know, some of those things, the produce and some of the sweets and stuff that people can take with them as well. Yeah, and we, all this essentials to put a meal together for your family, uh, anywhere from, you know, we've had families that come in the family of eight. We have a family, just one person that lives by himself, you know, and that's what the whole that's what the whole thing of the pantry is, and the, food, the kitchen too, is to give somebody that needs something to eat. So while Christian is done with yep. those eggs, because right, now we have uh, custard. <laughs> no, <laughs> all right, we're gonna add a little bit. Of one, like I said, we're gonna add one ounce of cinnamon, one ounce of vanilla. All right, and Christian's gonna whip that up a little bit and try to make sure you go along the side because cinnamon okay. has a habit of sticking. Okay, whoa, I can smell that cinnamon. Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't wanna go too heavy on the cinnamon because it's really, really strong taste. But it, 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 when everything comes together and when you add that caramel sauce, it's gonna take away that cinnamon flavor. Hmm. All right, while he's finishing that off, we're gonna add like this, we're gonna add a quart of milk. Well, you don't have to use milk. I have milk here, all right? You can use a, a heavy cream or you can use uh, half and half. I like using half and half because half and half is a little sweeter, so it adds a little bit of uh, sweetness to it. I do like it sweet, but you make it the way you like it. You can play with the, you can play with the recipe as much as you want. Uh, you can take away, you can add to it, whatever you like to do. So, but this is just a basic recipe to get you started mm -hmm. and to, to, and then you can play with it. You can add so much to this. You can add, I like adding apples sometimes. Uh, the one that we have underneath already done, I, there's raisins in it. I've done one with peaches, uh, apples, peaches. So there's a bunch of different ways. You can make your own uh, have, uh, whipping cream if you like also. And, uh, but I don't usually do it with the whipping cream. You can serve this warm if you like and pop it in a microwave or serve it in the oven, put it in the oven just to heat it up a little bit, take that chill out of there. All right, now we're gonna add a, two cups of sugar. There we go. Gonna whip that up a little bit more. Is there anything else you'd like to know about our kitchen? Yeah, so you mentioned, um Basically a soup kitchen, uh, which is accurately described, but not necessarily just soup. No. Of course. So we what do, does the menu look like and how do you kind of go uh, through that process? Uh, today we did chili over rice. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday we had fried fish. Uh, we do, we get blessed with uh, ribs from uh, Sam's Club uh, often. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll take the ribs and we'll make a nice meal, you know, uh, for the community. Uh, we did uh, Lent. We did fish on mm -hmm. Fridays for Lent for, you know, uh, for the, those who don't eat fish and just, you know, the way our mission is with the Catholic background. Yep. So we did the Lent, uh, and but we pretty much will do anything. We do soup and sandwiches. Mm -hmm. uh, we have bag lunches that we give out for the side today and the young lady that was working at the, uh, the side table, she made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Okay. Bonnie, you know, and bag lunch. And they were happy with it, you know. It, it, it's, they had the whole idea of, uh, Bringing, being back into the dining room is that it's camaraderie, right. you know, and they get they like the people, they like being served, which mm -hmm. everybody likes to be served. <laughs> but when you come to a place like this, it's not it's being looked at as a person and not being looked down at, right. you know, because people think, oh, I come to a soup kitchen to eat, that people are going to look down at me. It's not that. That's not that's not no. what it's about. That's not everybody.